crazy. Hey everybody, welcome back today in the Chipple Spotlight. Something brand new from Zoe Zotech. Yes, I mean brand new. This one has a twist, and you'll see what I mean in just a minute. It's the all-new Zoe ZT701. The Keep On Testing Spotlight. As always, big keep on testing. Shout out to Zoe Zotech. Thanks so much for sending the meter in for this review. Oh, you guys are awesome. Wow, oodles of goodness in this little box. Check it out. Oscilloscope slash multimeter. Yes, we're seeing that dual functionality in a test instrument. I love it. This has a five megahertz oscilloscope as well as the 10,000 count digital multimeter. Two in one. Beauty. Uh, check it out, 10,000 counts, 10,000 big ones. Oscilloscope multimeter, what do we have on the back of the box? Anything, anything, not really. Good looking box as always, but check it out. Yes, you're gonna see that in a minute. We have that analog style bar graph as well. This is a very cool meter and it does something neat. You know, you'll see what I mean in just a second, so stay tuned for that. But all in all, very funky. And uh, what else do we get? Well, we get our standard test leads here. We see these ones all over the place. They're okay, but you know, they're okay. Um, we get our manual as well. Zoe, user manual in color with nice big pictures. Schematics, the lowdown. Everything you need to know about your new ZT701 is all here. Spec wise, let's just check out the specs, shall we? There we go, technical specifications. 10,000 counts has an auto mold as well as the manual mold. Uh, ABS TPE tile plastic for the material. F sampling rate is three times per second, not too shabby. True RMS, yes, data hold, yes. Screen backlight, yes. Low battery warning, yes. Auto power off, yes, yes. A meter of yeses. And we have the rechargeable as well. 1300 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt rechargeable battery beauty and if you're wondering right off the get-go here 0.5 percent plus or minus three digits in terms of accuracy loving it what else am i loving i love the feel of this meter uh really really nice uh corpus corpus body exterior uh, these are super ultra soft touch buttons really really soft this does not do current does not do current so yeah no current on this meter so just take note of that on the side meter, we have the auto mode as well as our hold and save. Top of the meter, we have absolutely nothing. On the side of the meter, we have the power on off switch. And at the very bottom of the meter, we have our rechargeable USB port as well as our common and negative inputs. Now, take note, you cannot use this meter and charge at the same time. You see how that is blocked? Yeah, so when you're charging, when you have that USB-C port open and accessible, like so, you can't charge. That port is being blocked. It's a safety thing, but you know, that's, oh well, it is what it is. Something I like as well, we have these little soft touch four in total. So it takes the meter up a couple of meters from your work surface, which just means it it's, has a better uh, tactile feel. It's not gonna move around as much. And uh, that's really, really nice. Little things like that, uh, you know, they may make a difference. Finally, you get the infamous carry case or bag and and this was a little strange i have to admit look at this you're getting this 3m doohickey you're getting a doohickey with your oscilloscope multimeter what kind of doohickey is this well that's a really good question believe it or not it is actually a fold-out backing with a 3m strip on the back because this meter has no tilt stand no tilt stand it looks like we have some sort of a metal hanger capability here oh i'm not quite sure uh, because it doesn't really seem to come out the other end, but anyway, no, no, it does, it does. So we, we do have a hanging strap, but no magnet, no no tilt stand. So this in effect, you take off that 3M strip and bada boom, bada bang, you actually can use this as a tilt stand. I, I, I think that's what it's for. Kind of weird, almost looks like an afterthought, but uh, there you go. And if you don't want to use it as a tilt stand, you can use it as a pen holder. How cool is that? So we're gonna hold down on that power switch to turn on the meter, but a boom, bada bang, we're greeted with that Zoe logo, and yes, look at that, that's what I'm talking about. It actually has a landscape mode, a landscape mode. Isn't that cool? Now, as I said, stick on that little backing, and bada boom, bada bing. 
we're gonna have our landscape mode meter. You don't see that every day, do you? I, I gotta say that is kind of cool. And uh, yeah, I've been using this meter for a while, for a while, and I really appreciate the landscape mode. And I, I mean, it just seems to work. Look at that nice analog bar graph as well. Boots automatically into DC volts. Here at the bottom, we've got our uh, continuity diode, resistance, capacitance, and our millivolts, as well as volts AC, DC, all there, all easily accessible at the touch of a button. But I gotta say, man, oh man, I really like this landscape mode. I like it. Ah. Initially, I was thinking this was a touch screen, but it's not. So to cycle through, hit that left or right arrow to change your selection. So right now we're going to millivolts, back to volts, diode continuity, resistance, and capacitance. So touch of a button. Now, for some reason, you're not like me and you just do not like the landscape mode. Well, fear not, you can have portrait mode, as you can see. Look at that. Simply to get into portrait, hold down on the menu. That's it. Menu will select between landscape or portrait. Easy breezy. USB-C charging port is lit up with that red LED at the top left of the meter. And you can see as well, we have our USB charging indicator status of the battery below. One thing I have noticed is that this meter is susceptible to glare, so probably not the best meter if you're going to be outside. Inside it should be okay as long as you're not uh, under some crazy bright studio lights like I am. Ah. Now one thing, when you go into landscape mode, you can see you do lose a little bit of that functionality. So we've lost some of those features we had before. Now we just have the basic inputs, that's it, that's all. Starting off with the DC volts accuracy test, 5.000 is what we want. And that's what we get. Awesome. Alrighty, next up it's diode time. Here we go. We're in diode mode. 1.7, forward output voltage. Over to the green, 2.2, looking good. The yellow. Over to the white, yes, lit. And the blue. Oh yeah, five out of five in terms of illumination as well as a forward voltage drop. Standard diodes, not an issue. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we don't get that nice audible beep, but uh, everything else was a go. Output voltage in dial mode, 3.25 volts. Here I have the Zoe ZT702S alongside the ZT701, and uh, look at that chronograph, bar graph, analog, whatever you want to call it, call it style, um, scale. And uh, they've managed to squeeze a little bit more on the 702S. That being said, I, I really do like the look of the 701. And as well, you know, you can see there's that interesting red band, which is common with these Zoe Zotex, uh, not as prevalent on the 701. Um, I find it a little bit distracting at times, but uh, definitely not in your face on the 701. Sixty-five point nine decibels, maximum output volume in continuity. According to the specs, this should read up to one hundred millifarad. We have a one hundred millifarad capacitor, one hundred thousand microfarads. Let's see how well it does. Ninety-eight point three. Oh, awfully close, and that didn't take too long either. Excellent. Meter is not crazy about low resistance. Can't get much better than 0.7 of an ohm on this 0.5 ohm resistor. But look at that precision reference here, 100 ohm resistor and coming in at 100.2. There was zero of rel on the test leads. That is pretty good. To turn the ZT701 off, just hold down on the power switch and it will prompt you to shut sound. Yeah, we have a bit of a typo there. I'll let Zoe Zotech know about that. Hopefully it'll be rectified in an upcoming release. Once it shuts down, uh, you're good to go. Boot it back up. Bada boom, bada bing, bada bang. Very quick to boot. So that's where I put that little 3M sticky right on the back of the Zoe, just like so. Makes a big difference as you can see. Yeah, I like it. 
If you're in the market for some rechargeable batteries, and aren't we all, all the time, telling you never have enough batteries handy. Rechargeables really rock because, hey, you recycle. You keep using the same battery, right? It's great for the environment. Pow XS has these awesome 1.5 volt universal battery chargers on sale now at Amazon. Man, it really changes the way I charge. It's super fast. And I, I, I gotta say, these batteries rock, man. I'm putting them on all of my meters as of late. And so far they have been stellar in terms of performance. No degradation whatsoever. And the price is right. Really nice charging capability as well on the charger. You have different color modes, a blue, the green, letting you know when it's charged, when it's charging. All in all, really nice, great quality build from Pow XS. Highly recommended. Check them out. If you don't want auto mode enabled by default, you can also switch it to manual by clicking on the manual button. Now it is in complete uh, reliance upon you. Manual mode, auto mode, choice is up to you. Either way, it's kind of cool that you have that option. Now let's get into oscilloscope, shall we? Hold down on the same button and bada boom bada bing, we are now in oscilloscope mode. Let's check out some signals. All right, here we are sitting now in oscilloscope mode. By the way, in oscilloscope mode, we have our two function buttons at the top here, data hold storage button, as well as the auto mode switch, conveniently located at the top. Now, once again, this is five megahertz oscilloscope, so it's not killer. Definitely catch uh, a signal waveform right now in portrait mode on the oscilloscope. At the very top, starting off with that run, uh, basically that gives us the operation status display, a waveform captures in progress, not in progress, uh, the normal triggering molds, waveform data has been captured, hasn't been captured, everything here. Beside that, we have our time-based scale and below that, or beside it again, we have our uh, voltage scale. Right now, our voltage scale is set to 5.5, uh, five volts rather, display Playing the current set vertical voltage scale value. Beside that is trigger voltage or trigger level. And this is showing us the current trigger value voltage being set. And of course, the little button, well, that's our charging status indicator. So right now we're sitting about, oh, 80% fully charged, which is a good thing. By the way, the battery on here lasts a long time, very long. So you're not gonna have to charge this that often. Buttons below is our frequency and our volts peak to peak, uh, as well as our maximum. And then we have the voltage and time base menu. Uh, this allows you to adjust the channel voltage and the time base all going on right here at the bottom. So lots going on, lots under the hood. You definitely wanna keep your user manual handy dandy when you're looking at this for the first few times because there's a lot going on that you don't see. Now what would all oscilloscope review be without some signals? Hey, there we are. Sawtooth being generated right now, clear and verbose. That display is pretty easy on the eyes. It is subject to a little bit of glare, as you can see, uh, even with those uh, studio lights. Yeah, it's, it's not bad though, all things considered. All of our info at the top right of the screen. This thing is quick to uh, find those signals as well. There's a square wave right now I'm generating with that oldie but a goodie, that GW Instec uh, signal function generator. Uh, now we have a nice sine wave, and of course we have that auto acquisition located at the top of the unit. Uh, whenever you want to change your signals or, or just, you know, do an auto acquisition, top of the unit, right there, bada boom, bada bing, bada bang, yeah. All in all, it's a pretty sweet little device for basic signal acquisition and some pretty basic troubleshooting. I like All right, here we go. Teardown time it is. We have the Zoe off and open. Look at that big lithium battery staring at us. Nice, takes up a lot of space, doesn't it? They sort of have it recessed uh, on top of another uh, component. You'll see what I mean in just a second, but uh, nice big battery, it lasts a long time. And uh, let's just take it off here and you'll see what I'm talking about. And there we go. Yeah, so it's actually raised on a little riser, that black riser board. And underneath that, we have some more components with some shielding uh, protecting from uh, some EMF. So that's kind of cool. Nice, clean PCB all around. We have some good little blast protection going on as well. Rubberized inserts as the buttons. And uh, all in all, I've got to say detail-wise, for a cheapo, Zoe did a really stand-up job. Let's take a little bit closer look at the other end of the board, shall we? There are those inputs, positive and the negative. Now, not a whole lot in terms of input protection, as you can see, because, yeah, we've only got one PTC, but let's remember this does not do current. Uh, that main IC has been etched. Can't see what it is, but right beside it, 
bottom right hand side we have our EEP ROM, the D24C02. And alongside that, it may not see which is etched, but it's probably part of the DTM0660L DreamTech line of uh, multimeter ICs. Very Flat ribbon cable attaching the display to the PCB. Nice and clean layout all around. There's those inputs, hand soldered, I am sure, and our one lonely PTC and a couple of relays, actually three relays in total. Nice. USB-C charging IC at the top. Closing thoughts in the Zoe ZT701 oscilloscope multimeter. Yes and yes. I really like this multimeter slash oscilloscope. This has been on the test bench for me for the past month or so, and I'm using it basically every day. I love that landscape mode, absolutely love it. Add to the fact it also has that portrait mode in both oscilloscope and multimeter. That is uber cool. 10,000 counts of multimeter goodness, and that analog bar graph is very, very useful. The fact that it's rechargeable as well, no more having to change the batteries all the time. This thing charges and it charges last a long time. The Zoe ZT701 oscilloscope slash multimeter gets an almost perfect four out of five stars. What an awesome multimeter this is. Tons of user functionality. It's a lot of fun to have on the bench. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. Oh, lots more coming up. You know, I've got so much stuff to review. It's like it's Christmas. Hey, till the next one. Keep on testing.